here you will hear Elijah Muhammad introduced by Minister Malcolm X, the Muslim's New York leader and ambassador at large for the movement. The good news that Minister X talks about here is the coming rise of the black man and the fall of the white man. Easier to understand why they turn to the Muslims, a group they believe will do something for them. He begins in the early 1960s by directing these counterintelligence programs to infiltrate the Ku Klux Klan. And this is a picture here of uh, a Klan, uh, an FBI agent who infiltrated the Klan, and he still has this sort of ill-fitting hood on to hide his identity. Is this black supremacist doctrine making headway among New York Negroes? Let's go to the streets of Harlem and find out. This is classified as hate when we are t telling our people that it is time for them to organize and learn to develop respect, recognition for themselves in order that they might obtain a position of self-determination. If this is what is classified as hate, then I suppose I am guilty of preaching such a philosophy. I've listened to the Elijah Muhammad movement and the black nationalist movement. I feel that it would be better if it were more national rather than integrated with the views of the white man in it for the simple reason that I think that together with our own people more can be accomplished rather than with the white man involved in it also because as it is we've already been accepting too many crumbs from this man and we've never really gotten a real loaf of bread from him. Uh, I've read some of Mr. Muhammad's articles in the Pittsburgh Courier. He is a Muslim. I agree with him. He says we've been waiting long enough. And everywhere you read the headlines, black people are being beat, lynched, killed for no reason at all. And they began to get nervous about it and somebody needs to do something. And that is quick. I probably am a dead man already. I probably am a dead man already. Some of this middle class row of houses was shattered early this morning by a Molotov cocktail bomb tossed into this house. This is the home of Malcolm X, former leader of the black Muslims. Malcolm, his wife, and four young children were home asleep when the bomb exploded, as she explained. Honestly, I really can't say exactly what happened. I really can't say exactly what happened. I don't know if I woke my husband up or he woke me up, but I remember him pushing me out of the bedroom door, and I, I looked to my right, and I saw all of the fire, and I saw um, smoke, smoke. being held against the will. My daughter is, right now, she's 20. One. 20. One. And... Uh, I heard uh, the glass being broken, you know, on the side windows on the left, and I, I heard the, the roaring of the fire. In order to maintain this false reality, imposters are needed to play the roles of supposedly real people who are really just characters. And our children go to school and have to get killed! We need to hold each other accountable. It starts with you, Travis Scott. It starts with you. I can no longer take this. People have died. My friends died. I just spent the last two hours putting the burial arrangements for my daughter's funeral, who's 14. My kid died because nobody responded to what occurred at Sandy Hook. Those parents lost little kids. It's bad enough that I lost my 20 year old, but I had 20 years with my son. That's all I ever have. But those people lost their children at six and seven years old. How do you think they feel? It's fake. And all you have to do is add your actor. George Klein. He gave me a car once. And I said, I, was, uh, I, I don't have the words to express how I feel to you about you giving me this car. And he looked at me and he said, he said, what is fame and fortune if you can't share it with your friends? And he looked at me and he said, he said, what is fame and fortune if you can't share it with your friends? 
was talking to them now. Well, he has told me in the past that he has been having some harassment. Well, in July, when I was in the hospital having my last baby, uh, my three small daughters saw my husband almost killed across the street. And um, how was he almost killed? Well, uh, some uh, he was uh, in his car, and some uh, men were rushing uh, to the fake. side of his car on both sides of it. Well, uh, some uh, he was uh, in his car, and some uh, men were rushing uh, to the side of his car on both sides of it. And he managed to get away. Had you had any threats, uh, anything like this? Uh, had any threats? That's all I get is threats. I get uh, not it's less fake. than six or seven threatening uh, phone calls every day. Where were you and your children at the time? Uh, where was the bedroom in location to the... Uh... Well, our bedroom is um, located side by side, and uh, my seven-month-old baby's room is um, on the other side of the hall. Where did the bomb land in the house? Well, I don't know um, exactly where it landed, because when we um, woke up and noticed it was fire already... Do you think this bombing and the threats and the harassments are related to your husband's departure from the Black Muslim Organization? Well, I don't know, but uh, at the rally uh, Monday night at the Audubon, I'm sure he will bring out something. Well, he has told me in the past that he felt that uh, some of his harassment was coming from his uh, former associates in the Black Muslims. He has. What about the controversy about the owners? He has. Smiling faces. Smiling faces sometimes they don't In the O.J. Simpson case 24 years ago. Oh my goodness. I think Nipsey got shot. Nipsey, y'all. I think Nipsey, they got Nipsey, man. Are you, they got Nipsey? Are you serious, you lie? Oh my goodness, they got Nip. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, they got Nipsey Hustle. Possible of violence. That no, the black people in this country have been the victims of violence at the hands of the white man for 400 years. And following the ignorant uh, Negro preachers, we have thought that it was godlike to turn the other cheek to the brute that was brutalizing us. Well, uh, Reverend Martin Luther King preaches a doctrine of nonviolent insistence upon the rights of the American Negro. What is your attitude toward the, this the, philosophy? The white man pays Reverend Martin Luther King, subsidizes <laughs> King can continue toward the, this the, philosophy. The white man pays Reverend Martin Luther King, subsidizes <laughs> King can continue to toward the, this the, philosophy. The white man pays Reverend Martin Luther King, subsidizes Reverend Martin Luther King, so that Reverend Martin Luther King can continue to teach the Negroes to be defenseless. That's what you mean by nonviolent. Be defenseless. Be defenseless in the face of one of the most cruel uh, beasts that has ever taken the people into captivity. That's this American white man. And they have proved it throughout the country by the police dogs and the police clubs. A uh, hundred years ago, they used to put on a white sheet and use a bloodhound against Negroes. Today, they have taken off the white sheet and put on police uniforms. They've uh, traded in the bloodhounds for police dogs, and they're still doing the same thing. And just as Uncle Tom, back during slavery, used to keep the Negroes from resisting the bloodhound or resisting the Ku Klux Klan by teaching them to, to love their enemy or pray for those who use them despitefully. Today, uh, Martin Luther King is just a 20th century or modern Uncle Tom or a religious Uncle Tom who is doing the same thing today to keep Negroes defenseless in the face of attack that Uncle Tom did on the plantation to keep those Negroes defenseless in the, in the face of the attacks of the Klan in that day. But the goal of Dr. King is full equality no. and full rights of citizenship for Negroes. The goal of Dr. Martin Luther King is to give Negroes a chance to sit in a segregated restaurant beside the same white man who had brutalized them for 400 years. The goal of Dr. Martin Luther King is to get Negroes to forgive the people who have brutalized them for, uh, for 400 years by, by lulling them to sleep and making them forgetting what those whites have done to them. But the masses of black people in America today don't go for what Martin Luther King is, is putting down. As you said in one of your articles, it's psychologically insecure, something of that sort. I forget how you put it.
But you didn't endorse what Martin Luther King was doing yourself. Uh, I do not reject his goals of full integration and full equality rights for American citizens. Do you reject these if goals? If you don't think that he's walking on the right road, I'm quite sure you don't agree that he'll get to the right place. And if you would classify uh, his method as uh, psychologically unrealistic, I think that uh, if a man's method is psychologically unrealistic, which means the road or the means or the method that he's using, I think as a psychologist, you, you'd be very doubtful that he would reach the right goal. There is one correction, uh, Mr. Malcolm, I'd like to make here. In that same piece that you're quoting from, I said that he, his methods are effective. His philosophy of love, of the oppressor, I thought, was psychologically burdensome. Sat by the door reference. I don't. I don't think you a spook who sat by the door. I think your intentions are pretty clear. <laughs> well, now I, I would say somebody. I don't think you a spook who sat by the door. I think your intentions are pretty clear. <laughs> well, now I, I would say somebody. Well, now I, I would say somebody. Even to the to the point we made earlier. And I'm gonna name my last album the Spook to sat by the door. Mm. You know what I mean? When I when I finish my my situation with uh, with our partnership at Atlantic. And uh, for anybody that ain't seen that book, I mean seen that movie or read the book, it's about a gang member from Chicago who. Uh, you know, um, presented himself in a way he never caught no cases. He was, he was, he had a clean cut look, and he infiltrated the CIA. Yep. And he became educated and became, and basically he used their agenda, which was to have a token nigga in the CIA for political reasons. You know, we gonna speak blunt, fuck it. Um, he used it against. I, I feel parallel with, like, you know what I mean? 100%. And what's interesting about that book, all his people used to call him Uncle Tom and the Coon. You know what I'm saying? Sellout. Yeah. But he was there working for them the whole time. Yeah. And, uh, all his people used to call him Uncle Tom and the Coon. You know what I'm saying? Sellout. Yeah. But he was there working for them the whole time. Yeah. And, uh, close the door. Close the door. Looks better like this. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. There you go, my man. There you go. You got it. I'll, uh, Check your Instagram, I'll message you keys. Alright. I'll uh check your Instagram, I'll message you keys. Alright. Fly in the sky. Assalamu alaikum. Get your hand out of my pocket! Get out of my pocket, nigga! No, no! No, One fully accredited reporter was in the audience when Malcolm was struck down. Gene Simpson. I would say I heard at least, at least, uh, eight shots fired. Uh, first, first, uh, about three rapidly. I would say I heard at least at least uh, eight shots fired. Uh, first, first, uh, about three rapid. I'm with WMCA Radio, and I didn't go as a reporter. Uh -huh. uh, I was sitting in the front row, the very right in front of Malcolm, uh, in fact, and uh, he came out on the stage. The uh, introductory speaker turned over the platform to him, and he raised his hand and uh, a Muslim greeting. <laughs> 
Salaam Alaikum. At that point, uh, I, I heard a rumbling behind me, and I'm sure everyone else did too, and I turned around in my seat to, to see what it was. And uh, then we saw, like, I saw two guys standing up, and the next thing, my next impression, a Muslim greeting, Salaam Alaikum. At that point, uh, I, I heard a rumbling behind me, and I'm sure everyone else did too, and I turned around in my seat to, to see what it was. And uh, then we saw, like, I saw two guys standing up, and the next thing, my next impression, it all happened very rapidly, as you can understand, is of the gunshots. And uh, I saw Malcolm had his hand up. He had said, he said, stay cool, stay calm, or something. <laughs> Evidently, one of the perpetrators rang out, and uh, he was shooting like a cowboy. Smiling faces, smiling faces sometimes. They don't tell the truth. And I saw people crawling on the floor. I saw, and so I got down too. Then when I was looking out, and I saw um, someone crawling on the floor. I saw, and so I got down too. Then when I was looking out, and I saw um, someone look at amazement in front. I knew they had shot my husband. saw my husband falling, falling back. He didn't bend, he just fell straight.
try to remember just exactly what happened. I was back here, I was setting up a uh, chain of command. Uh, I didn't see anything. Oh, I see. You were one of Malcolm's guards. That's right. And you didn't see what happened? No, I didn't. I heard the shots. I ran forward. I saw Malcolm hold his side and hold his stomach and fell down. How do you feel now? I want to kill somebody. That's right. I want to kill somebody. Before the night's over, if Malcolm dies, somebody's going to die. that I think is interesting for showing how the CIA could stimulate conspiracy theories. Um, in the late 60s, so they came up with this document. In the late 70s, this document became public about the CIA because people read this document and say, aha, the CIA was involved. Before we... at a time. You're going to need to supplement your emotions when that comes down. I just met with him last week. He had me bring my daughter so he could work with her. Thinking, She's a model. He thinking thinking you thought your response by him. Yeah. He cared about us. Well, let's get a little closer. Yeah, I thought we were done with the drought in California. I thought all that recent rain we had would, you know, make the lands more moist. Uh, we're still in drought, obviously. He still came around and supported everybody. Right? Yes, we are here. 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 I'm not it's hearing settled. anything. It's not there, it's not there. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Yeah, I couldn't use that for me. I, 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 I can't pretend. Well, it's not settled. Are you going to file something? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Yeah, I couldn't use that for me. I, 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 I can't pretend. I can't fake it. It's the worst question. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I couldn't use that for me. I, I, I can't pretend. I can't fake it. It's the worst question. It may are. Yeah. You, you. ESHA. There's only a question I have. I know. I know he was moving to. Yes, all my life. I was just with him last week. He had me bring my daughter up here to talk to him so she could model for his company. That's how much he cared about me and my family. Currently set. I can't tell nobody who wants to take anybody's life. Period. If you're doing you, you shouldn't worry about nobody else. For what reason? At all. I'm still recovering. At all. I'm bearing for at least another month. He was doing free shows for people. He was giving back to his community. It would be difficult for me to start. He was hiring people. He didn't have people work there. Okay, there's no objection by the defense. No. All right, so let's plan. I just made a payment for him, and he wanted me to do his kids, so I was supposed to be doing it. 2022, <laughs> and I'm like, just for sake of sake, I want to make that 0 10, but I'd like to start then. March 1st. Well, I'm sorry, March 1st? Yes. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. March 1st. And we'll make that a 0 10. All right. Mr. Holder, as a current stand, you have a right to a uh, trial. Could have sworn by all the noise in the background that she was just like a puddle of tears, but no, not a tear. That uh, Johnson and Johnson's no more tears works miracles, and um, I'm not even gonna go there. Matter separate trial, March first. 
2022. This department 831 is 010. Thank you. Appreciate you, and last little tidbit or clip, I love crime scene footage. But what are we missing there on the ground? Smiling and joking officers. Yeah, because, you know, it's, it's fun to be able to scrape up people's uh, bullet casings and stuff. Look at that. Having a great time. <laughs> <laughs>